in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful good morning guys so basically uh, in the last video we had uh, gone through the eslint typescript configurations and uh, uh, finally we integrated basically prettier as well and uh, i have modified eslint command uh, earlier it was with the next one uh like this but uh, that usually uh, that causes issue with the lint staged today uh, our target will be uh, to integrate basically husky and lint staged i will explain uh, their purpose uh, later uh, but let's first test whether uh, these commands are working or not this command check format actually checks whether there are some issues with the uh for meeting or not and this one checks with the uh, fixes those issues if there are some uh, for meeting issue right uh so let's first uh check whether there is some issue and another thing is that uh, however uh, when we are uh, basically uh, working in the code we, we will be working in the code and whenever we will save the file prettier will work on that on the fly right on the save because we have made that change already in the settings uh, as you can see uh, format on the save so let's suppose uh, if i uh, do this one and then do control s this will automatically format it again like this as well okay so uh, if we run the lint command yarn lint uh, it is says it is done uh, with, without any issues okay uh, so uh, the today target is that uh, husky basically what does husky do is uh, husky does is uh, let me uh, close some extra tabs so here is the official page of the husky right uh, we usually use it uh, to ensure the quality and the consistency as we have integrated lint prettier and uh, pret uh, basically uh, prettier lint and typescript uh, and uh, in future we are going to integrate unit tests as well uh, but who is going to ensure that these commands are actually being run right uh and uh, the buggy code is not being pushed uh, basically developers can forget uh, in order to ensure that that developers basically do not forget to run these command and fix the issues husky comes into play husky basically provides us uh, two hooks pre commit and pre push on the pre commit we can run these commands and on the pre push uh, which we will discuss later in that we usually run a uh, unit test right so uh, let's uh, integrate uh, husky so here as the command you can get these command uh, from their uh, basically official page as well as from any article right uh, i have just modified them through uh, yeah uh, you can get any article as well so let's uh, run the command to integrate husky okay good uh, we can see into the dependencies that it is uh, now available the next step will be uh, to initialize uh, we have npx husky init right uh, to initialize npx husky init it is going to uh, basically create a folder uh with dot husky folder where we are going to define pre commit uh, uh basically hook so here you see this husky folder got created and here we have a pre commit uh hook uh, we are going to it, it by default it contains npm test but for now uh, we need to run uh, lint prettier uh and typescript checks right uh, test will we will modify we are going to modify it uh, a little bit later okay now our husky has been initialized the next thing is that we integrate lint staged what lint stage does is that uh, we have to run these checks only on those files which are modified and which are ready to be committed uh, to the repo Uh, so this will save uh, basically time and the performance uh, otherwise if we run uh, on all files of the project that is going to take time that's why uh, 
uh, lint stage is used that uh, our checks are uh, basically executed only on the staged or the modified files so this is a command yarn add uh, because it is going to be a dev dependency okay uh, so let's execute it so we can now check probably that lint stage uh, should also be in the dev dependencies okay the next step is this uh, prepare husky has also been by default added when we initialize uh, the husky the next step is that we define configuration files in our root folder for this lint stage the name of that configuration file is lint dash stage dot uh, config dot js uh, it should be in the root let me okay so in lint stage dot config dot js uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, export this these statements uh, this tells that you have to execute on all files with ts and tsx extension this lint command that we defined into the package dot json and uh, fix format command and this TypeScript command okay okay now this configuration file is defined we will go back uh, to the husky pre commit hook and here we have to basically modify it uh, like this again instead of memorizing uh, the purpose of this uh, video is uh, to get you familiar uh, right with the integration and then you can explore uh, online different articles and uh, you can get these kind of boilerplate code uh, from there as well instead of memorizing it no need to memorize obviously so here uh, we replaced npm test with the npx lint state uh, so on pre commit now this lint state is going to be executed and in lint state we have uh, basically described that this should happen so now we are done uh, with these uh, steps it's time uh, to test let's suppose here uh, if i introduce console dot some syntax error uh, let's suppose i miss uh, this right and uh, then i forget that i have introduced the error into it in, into a file into our code then when i will go to it uh, that one thing that you have to do is that I had already uh, pushed my local repo into github right so you you should do that as well to test it okay now uh, let's uh, make a commit and see whether uh, our husky pre commit uh, catches it or not uh, it is uh, actually it it should not let us uh, commit right because there is an error in the page dot tsx here you see we get a uh, lint field and it is not going to uh, let us commit page dot tsx error parsing error so we are going to go and we are going to remove this error and then check whether now it lets us commit or not Okay. 
write the proper message uh, so that if our commit becomes successful uh, we have some meaningful message in our repo uh, let's see what happens so our commit got successful and let's now push it So we successfully got pushed. Congratulations! You have now basically integrated all quality assuring uh, tools uh, into your uh, basically structure, uh, initial structure. Uh, usually people uh, integrate these tools at a later stage but uh, they are the beginners right uh, as an expert or the having uh, advanced knowledge of the react right you should integrate these tools at the start so that uh, you basically develop good habits of software development thank you very much uh, do subscribe the channel as well and do recommend this uh, these uh, video series uh, to the other developers interested in uh, react as well thank you